So welcome back to the Raider Report. I'm DeMarco Moore. I have my buddy Wes Jenkins with me today, and we'll be uh, breaking down the, the Blue Raiders' upcoming matchup versus the Charlotte 49ers. Uh, as, you, as you all know, the Charlotte 49ers, this is their first year in the Conference USA play, and they picked up a big win versus Georgia, Georgia Southern yet last year. And uh, what is your take on Charlotte, the 49ers, West? They, uh, they're definitely well motivated with their, this being their first year in the conference or in FCS or FBS, that is. Uh, they're definitely well motivated. They play hard. Defense flies to the ball. Uh, they have several key players that are that uh, definitely will make an impact in the game they they run the no huddle spread offense but don't let that fool you because they have a power running game and uh speaking of their speaking of their power running game let's take a minute and talk about their uh power running getting power running back in khalif phillips and we have some of that film up here uh from the georgia southern game you can see his uh he has this. He has a low center of balance. He has great body lean, and he just bounces off defenders. Yeah, we see that right there with that tackle. If he wasn't brought down by his own player, it might have been a bigger game. In this spread offense, they always they bring in H backs. They like to get bodies in front of Phillips. You can see that in this video. We uh, we're gonna have to see two H backs, and then the guard's gonna pull around. And, uh, and gets three lead blockers in front of Phillips. It's a very unique look, like a, a wing T slash pistol look. And they just get bodies on bodies, like you, you said. You can see he's a big running back, too. You see the two H-backs on the left side. They can use that also as a counter to make the defense roll that way. Also, here it is again, pulling guard. And they, they had that read option since too, so it freezes the outside linebacker too and gives you an extra, Here comes uh, extra the read uh, option one less out of block, it right blocker. The, they'll take the read option, turn it into a pass. They do all kinds of things with that. Um, and then once the defense starts cramming inside, they'll hit you with a lot of out routes, slant routes. They, uh, they rarely go down the field though. It seems like a very conservative passing game with just a uh, short, with short routes. As we take a look at the defense right now. They, uh, like I said, they fly to the ball. They may, they force turnovers. Terrence Winchester, one of their defensive backs, forced two turnovers against Georgia State. For example, where they bring a lot of pressure, they'll blitz safeties, they'll burn, blitz cornerbacks. Here's Winchester's interception right here. And they seem like a very opportunistic defense and an aggressive defense that at times will give up the big play, but they're not afraid to go for it. As we look at here, see, see Terrence to Winchester flying to the ball once again. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough opponent for MTSU, a challenging one. But as fast as their defense is playing, they still hopefully will look like they're playing in slow motion compared to the Crimson Tide that uh, MTSU played against last week. After the break.